When we arrived here, Dr. Fred Matiangi had been summoned. And from 9 o'clock to 9.35, we were with his interrogators. He came to meet his accusers, and it was a very short ceremony. We completed it in a few minutes' time. But from 9.35, as the lawyers have spoken here, Dr. Fred Matiangi has been detained from 9.35 up to now 4.30, we are talking about six hours. A minister for Interior, who has worked with distinction for this great country as a minister for ICT, minister for Education and Interior, and even Lands Office, to be treated in the manner he has been treated, for his home to have been raided, his children's bedroom was broken into. We are saying it's travesty of justice, and this should not happen to any other Kenyan. However, we are also saying, looking at the charges, all we are hearing are allegations. Matiangi lied about the police going to his house. Matiangi lied about some information regarding the police. And there are no serious charges but allegations. We are convinced as a legal team that what is going on here is a vendetta. What we are talking about is vindictiveness. What we are talking about is vengeance by William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanza team against Fred Matiangi. For us who served with Matiangi in cabinet, we know that there were some differences between him and William Ruto. And today we want to speak to Ruto directly that you cannot lead a country through vendetta. You cannot lead a country through vengeance. You cannot lead a country through vindictiveness. You might have had an axe to grind with Fred Matiangi, but that is not how you lead the country. Let the law follow its course. We are ready as and when Matiangi is required in court as his legal team to appear with him, to defend him, but we must not allow vengeance to eat up the national spirit of our country. That is all we want to say and we want to thank you all for bearing with us since morning and we thank God that Fred Matiang is a free man and we will defend him.